Hey y'all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for September 26th, 2019. The character is the Ironclad and the modifiers are Heirloom, start with one rare relic. Control Chaos, start with Frozen Eye, at the start of your turn, add 10 random cards to the bottom of your draw pile. And Terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose 1 max HP, start each combat with white plated armor. Before we get started, let me briefly review our run from yesterday. Yeah, we did pretty well, and I think we were 10th yesterday, and or when we played it, and throughout the day we dropped down to 14th, uh, which is pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. It was a ridiculously fun run. Uh, do check it out if you have a chance. Anyway, back to this run, so let's see what heirloom card we get, or a uh, relic, heirloom relic. Okay, we got Charon's Ashes. Whenever you exhaust the card, deal 3 damage to all enemies. This is in addition to the Frozen Eye. When viewing your draw pile, the cards are now shown in order. And Burning Blood at the end of combat heals 6 HP. Now with Control Chaos, uh, we do want to get to the uh, random cards as soon as possible. So we want to pick up as much card draw as possible. But the Ironclad doesn't really have too much uh, different card draw opportunities. But I guess now we also want to pick up uh, cards that exhaust. That will do 3 damage. And if we do it consistently, that's not bad at all. Uh, Alright, so there is a two lead path. Actually, it looks like there's only one two lead path, right? Yeah, yeah, there's only one two lead path. We have to hit these two leads. There's no other path that hits two of them. So yeah, we'll go this way. That gives us an early, uh, well, a crush mark at least. Anyway, um, with plated armor, we should be almost fully defended every turn, except for this particular turn. But other than that, we should be fine. Okay. And then we do heal back 10. Oh, yeah. And this is where the um, random card starts. So, obviously, Corruption in our opening hand would be great in this sort of deck. All right. Let me see. Um, see, Infirm Blade gives us Hemokinesis. Uh, that's not going to kill, right? Actually, it will. With the pummel together. We'll take damage, but we heal back up too. Okay. Cleave, Heavy Blade, and Wild Strike. So, the problem here is that we want to get to the Controlled Chaos cards as fast as possible. So any card that does not give us card draw is a problem. Uh, and as a result, I don't think I'll take any of these. Although, I think we don't have a shop upcoming. So there's a chance we might just not get any good cards offered. So maybe I should take one of them as a valuable offensive option. Either Cleave or Wild Strike. I'll go with Cleave because either way, AoE is going to be useful. But then, yeah, I think from now on, we're not going to pick up any card that doesn't um, allow us to... Uh, exhaust or sorry that doesn't allow us to draw more cards okay we should also have to f we have to figure out a way to gain to gain some max hp that's that's also something that has to happen okay all right yeah ideally uh burning blood uh or burning pact i think that's what that's the name of the card um i don't want to use the offering since we should be able to kill very soon um, but yeah, so Burning Pact, and then obviously uh, Battle Trance, um, Corruption or Opening Hand, obviously, too. So, yep, there's a Battle Trance. Kind of have to go with that. Okay. Alright, uh, yes, definitely want to remove a card. Uh, since we picked up a Cleave, I'll remove a Strike here. Okay. So, yeah, let's do Battle Trance, uh, Bash, and Cleave. Okay. Right. Yeah, so you can see that the random cards are obviously luck dependent, but we do have a lot of really good ones. Double tap, offering, fiend fire, etc. So we do want to get to those cards as soon as possible. Yep, there it is. So I think fiend fire would deal a ridiculous amount of. Well, actually, it'll kill. Chance ashes would deal a ridiculous amount of damage too. Okay. Got a fire potion and burning blood would be great too. It exhausts and it gives us card draw. Let's take it. We also should try to upgrade that as soon as possible. Same with battle trance. Um, all right, let's see. So we do have some defensive options coming up. Um, I think I'll do... Oh, I should have done Burning Pack first because now we can't draw anything this turn. Yeah, which is fine. Let's just do uh, Bash and Defend here. Okay. All right, 15 incoming. Uh, let's do Cleave. Uh, I don't think we need Bloodletting. We can just kill you and then fully defend. Okay. And then this guy is guaranteed to not attack next turn since he attacked us twice already. Well, there's a pretty useless Twin Strike. Or not Twin Strike, Spot Weakness. That was pretty useless. Uh, Infernal Blade exhausts, uh, although it doesn't really draw us any cards, so it puts us one card further away from getting to the random cards from Control Chaos. Uh, Inflame might be some good strength, but I think I'll go with a very thin deck and try to get the Control Chaos card. So I'll take the Infernal Blade just for um, some immediate damage and uh, the use of Chance Ashes. 
Okay, we need to defend next turn. So if we can draw... Hang on. So with the battle trends, we can draw two defense, but that's not going to be enough. I think next turn, if we draw... Okay, we need to draw one more card. Actually, I don't think that's possible. No, we can draw these three cards and then play battle... Or five cards and then play battle trends and play two more defense. Okay, so that we should be defended for next turn. We just cannot draw any cards this turn, which is fine. Um, so double strike here. We are fully defended. We have a fire push, but I'll use it once I know that one of them is going to die. Now we'll do battle trance. Unfortunately, we have to play three block uh, cards here. Otherwise, we won't be able to defend. Next turn, we don't have any defense, right? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, well, let's fully defend here, and then we can figure out what to do next turn. We do have a fire potion. I hope that we'll have enough uh, damage to kill. So we could do eight or yeah, 14 plus five is 19. That should be enough. Let me do seeing red. Okay. And even do 26. Yeah, I don't think we have to. Let's do heavy blade and drop kick and then throw the fire potion. So we're still fully defended. And then a turn, oh yeah, the turn after we still have problem. We do have an emulate. That might not be enough either. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we can Burning Pact, uh, that will do 3 damage. No, the Emulator won't kill the Backliner, unfortunately. Um, and Shockwave will bring everybody down to... Uh, actually, it will apply to Weakness first and then Vulnerability, right? So we still get 18 incoming. Um, and then, yeah, I don't see a way we can really deal with this. Yeah, I think... I think the best thing to do is to armament the shockwave and then play that. Yeah, yeah. So even if they got weakened, they, we wouldn't have been able to kill. All right, that's unfortunate. We, I guess if I knew that, I wouldn't have wasted the, uh, uh, not the strength potion, the uh, fire potion. Anyway, easy kill here, though. All right, got Smiling Mask, the Merchant's Card Removal Service. Now always costs 50 gold. Very good, since we do want to remove a lot of cards. Uh, and we already have a Burning Pack, so can't take another one of those. I will take Pommel Strike. It does draw us another card. Okay. All right, so 13 incoming. Let's see what Infernal Blade gives us. It's a Wild Strike. Um, probably Pommel Strike is going to give us a Defend. Yeah, sure. Let me do one Defend at least here. Okay. I'll still take some damage, but it should be fine. Okay. 15 incoming. Let's actually burning pack the wound out. Then a battle trance. Okay, and then cleave and defend to not lose any more. Okay, we're vulnerable and have 12 incoming. Um, emulate is not enough to kill. Uh, I want to weaken. That's probably the best thing to do then. Yeah, we, we unfortunately can't kill here. So let's weaken. And yeah, that's it. Okay, eh, should be able to kill him, right? But a good draw. Both line and the right. Okay. Alright, so Pommel Strike, Perfect the Strike, Rampage now. No, can't take any of these. We already have a Pommel Strike and uh, Perfect the Strike, I guess, would deal a good amount of damage, but I want to keep the deck as thin as possible. I think that's the only way we can really um, do well here. Ah, speaking thin as possible, uh, I will take the Curse, even though that goes against what I just said about keeping the deck thin. But we could remove it if we have to. Here we got question card. Future card awards have one additional card to choose from. Okay. And then here we should upgrade um, either Battle Trance or Burning Pack. I'm thinking Battle Trance. That's an extra card. Or maybe Pommel Strike, actually. That'll do damage and give us an extra two cards. Okay, Gremlin Knob here. Let's see what we can do. What's coming up next? So we do have a regret in next hand. Uh, yeah, not mm, too many options here, but let's do... Yeah, let's do Pommel Strike here. Okay. Alright, six incoming. So we do have five from the plated armor. Let's see what I get here. Okay, so we could fully defend with one defend, but the next turn might be difficult. Maybe I should have drank the Ancient Potion. Not, I don't think that would have helped us too much. So, let's see. We do have a drop kick. That's not going to be useful. Yeah, I'm trying to see what we have next hand, but nothing amazing. So seeing red is gonna, just going to do three damage. And then this is not going to do enough damage. Battle Trance is not going to give us anything amazing. 
Yeah, I don't think there's much we can do here. Um, yeah, let's just play these cards. Perfected Strike. I want to do Battle Trans. Actually, I guess the turn after we'll have Flame Barrier, which might not be a bad idea. Okay, let's do Battle Trans. And then um, I'll do Rampage here. Ugh, 30 damage, that's quite a bit. Okay, 18 incoming. Uh, let's do Heavy Blade and Cleave for... Ooh, no, that, yeah, no, Cleave and Anger kills, right? So we were just one away, but we were fine. We got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck, as well as a uh, attack potion. And, um, well, none of these... Well, I guess Havoc draws a card, draws and plays a card. I'm thinking Flame Barrier just for defense, so that we can, you know, not take any damage while we get to our uh, Control Chaos cards. Okay. Well, here we have to take Membership card. 50% uh, discount on all products. Um, Apotheosis is interesting. Now, unfortunately, it only is going to upgrade this set of cards, plus whatever we get with Control Chaos. Still might be very useful. We definitely have to take Corruption, actually. If there's a way to get that in opening hand, I would do that, too. Question is if I want to remove the curse. The more curses we have, the more cards we have. The longer it takes us to get to the Control Chaos, the, the worse it is, really, for us. Um, let's definitely take... We can afford all of it, right? So, Bag of Marbles, that's average combat, probably one vulnerable to all enemies. And Paper Frog, enemies with vulnerable take 75% more damage rather than 50. Hmm. This is also, if we don't take this, we'll get an extra 50 points for having the um, Popper modifier. Would like a Whirlwind too, though. No, I think what we should do... Who's our final boss here? Uh, we do have the Slime. So, let's take a Fire Potion. That might help with the Slime. Then I think I'll take Apotheosis and uh, Ghostly Armor again to keep us defended until uh, we get to the Control Chaos cards. Okay. Ooh. Um, well, here is when I wish I had the... Uh, what do you call it? Um, the uh, Whirlwind. We have a bit incoming. Um, if I don't play the Ghostly Armor, that'll do 3 damage, right? Because it's Ethereal. Uh, we can definitely kill one of them. Actually, let's just... Yeah, we can kill 3 of them. So let's target the strongest one, and then the ones dealing the most attack damage. Okay. Right, and then we're fully defended thanks to the plated armor. Okay. Right. Uh, Rage, Heavy Blade, Evolve, or Flex. So the game is offering me a lot of strength-based cards, and Flex is the first... Well, I guess after the uh, Inflame, this is the first strength-based card that we get. I think I'll go with Rage, though. Again, focusing a little more defense, especially in the beginning. Okay, I wouldn't mind another injury if I'm going for the um, Curses modifier. Finesse is obviously great. I don't think I need a Bash. Yeah, let's take a Finesse. Card draw and a little bit of defense. Why not? Okay. Here, we probably want to upgrade the Corruption. Because that's definitely something we want to play, even if we draw into it. And if there's only a way we could get into our opening hand, I would love that. Alright, uh, here we can play everything, right? Okay. okay, we do have a fire potion in case we need to. Alright, I think here I'll just do bash and strike, and the next turn we can decide if we want to play the fire potion or not. We also have an attack potion that might help. Ooh, corruption. I don't want to play that. Um, you know what? Let me do corruption. Then, uh, ghostly armor. Pommel strike. Uh, burning Pact. Yeah, every time we exhaust a card, there's Apotheosis. Very nice. Infernal Blade. Reckless Charge. I mean, this is just going well. I could even throw a Fire Potion, but I think we should be fine without it, too. Yeah, Corruption together with the Charon's Ashes is just amazing. Alright, let's do... Uh, unfortunately, we have two Battle Trances, which is not great. Um, we can disarm, disarm. Arm. Do we even need two armaments? I mean, it's free and deals damage, so why not? Another disarm just for fun. Okay. Um, so I have to choose one of them. We can probably just do perfect the strike on the back liner here. Okay. Alright, we need to play four skills to kill the uh, minions here. Uh, is there anything I want to exhume? Probably a skill, right? Maybe another apotheosis. No, let's do another burning pact. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. Okay, let's probably get rid of barricade. Don't really need that. Okay. Alright, and then Havoc once. Oh, this is great. Okay, and then we can, yeah, just kill. 
All right, at least we perfected the boss. None of the elites, none of the two elites, but we did perfect the boss. I, well, I guess we're not, uh, yeah, I guess I'm already taking the right cards. I do want feed. That way we can slowly stop the eight max HP loss, and we should try to play it every turn, every uh, combat. So I wouldn't mind the extra energy, although, well, I guess we have Apotheosis. So with Apotheosis, we don't need to upgrade anything else, although I would have loved to upgrade Apotheosis specifically. Um, yeah, I think the other option would be Empty Cage to make our deck thinner, but no, I think we'll go with Fusion Hammer, gain energy at the start of your turn, you can no longer smith at rest sites. A little dangerous, because this way we can't... Well, actually, I guess the Corruption is already upgraded, right? So, not too big of a deal. Alright, again, well, there are two, two Elite Paths. One goes on the far left, which gives us one, two, uh, either four question marks or three question marks and two shops. Or we go on the right, which gives us uh, a late shop, but then only two question marks. I think we'll go on the left because I do... Probably should try to get curses. And I don't think we have to prioritize a shop on this floor. We can get a shop on the next floor. And maybe one of the question marks is a shop anyway. Alright, yeah, Apotheus is in our opening hand. That's exactly what I'd like to see. And unfortunately, Corruption is coming up very late. That is exactly something I wouldn't want to see. But we can actually do Burning Pact and then play the uh, Rage here. Okay. Uh, do I want to do Battle Trance? Uh, ooh, it will give us a feed, which doesn't look like we'll be able to use in this combat anyway, so it's fine. Let's do Finesse. Um, feed. Uh, actually, yeah, that deals most damage, right? Yep. Okay. Maybe we get an Exhume and then we can get, uh, get it out of our Exhaust Pile. Right, 12 incoming. When is the... Uh, oh, Corruption is next turn. Okay, together with Flame Bear. That's nice. Uh, Alright, in that case, let's see. We can do Bash and Uppercut. I'll do Ghostly Armor and Strike. Okay. Actually, is there an Exhume coming up by any chance? Nope. Alright, that's fine. Won't be able to use the feed this turn. Um, we can kill here, right? Yep. Alright. Um... We can't take another Rage Gym, though it is upgraded. We didn't pick up a Havoc yet, right? So maybe we'll do that. The other option is actually Warcry. Once upgraded, oh, I guess we won't be able to upgrade it, but if the Apotheosis upgrades it, it basically is a uh, hard drop. Ooh, interesting choice here. Now, we don't have a Rest Site, and we don't have a Shop upcoming. We do have an Elite upcoming soon. I don't want to lose too much HP, but I wouldn't mind a little bit of gold and even a Colorless card. So we have 61. We probably shouldn't drop below like 30. So we can use it like five times or four times, I guess. So one, two, three. Fine, let's risk it. Colorless cards. We got trip. Okay. All right. A little dangerous going this low in terms of HP, but hopefully we'll heal it back up. Actually, let's see when the okay feed and corruption both are next hand. But unfortunate. We can't really use it. Actually, can we draw the Apotheosis this turn? Yes, we can. <coughs> Let's play that. And then Finesse. Uh, and yeah, there's the feed. Corruption is going to be the next hand, which is fine. Okay. Alright, 10 incoming. Let's do Corruption. Alright, War Crime. Uh, put the um, Strike back. Let's do Defend, Burning Pack, one of the Strikes. Okay. And then Rage, Battle Trance. Alright, uh, unfortunately the Regret is, is in this hand, so we are going to take some damage from it. But we end up with 44 block, that's pretty good. And I just want to make sure that there's no Exhume come. Ooh, there's an Exhume next hand. And then we can double tap a uh, the feed. Unfortunately we'll take a bunch of damage here, so I'd rather avoid that, if possible. Yep. Alright, uh, Combust, Hemokinesis, Armaments, or Iron Wave. Armaments would be good just for an upgrade. Uh, well, upgrading all cards. Iron Wave would give us defense. None of them allow us to draw cards, but I think I'll go with Armaments. One copy, I think, shouldn't hurt. Okay, very happy to see Apotheos in our opening hand, and Corruption is coming up relatively soon. Actually, we can play it this turn. Um, no, no, we can't. We can't. We don't have enough energy for that. If we play Apotheosis and then... Battle Trance, we won't be able to draw anything anyway. All right, let's do Apotheosis anyway. All right, Battle Trance. And then uh, we won't be able to draw anything, but I still will do Burning Pack the Regret out. Okay. And then we can just do Ghostly Armor. Okay. 
both of them are attacking for 19. Uh, so probably just corruption and well, we killed the backline and this guy will be attacking us for 15, right? Which we should be fully defended against. Okay. All right. Now it's 18 incoming. Uh, so rage, finesse, trip, defend, um, bash, and armaments. Okay. I guess now I can look if there's an exhum coming up. Oh, never mind. There's a the feed. Uh, and an exhum is coming up somewhat late. I don't think we can use the feed here yet. Let's see what Infernal Blade gives us. Okay. Never mind. Finally, we got some extra HP out of this. Great. We got a weakness potion, which I actually will take over the ancient potion. I think that might be more relevant to our low HP situation. And then, yeah, none, none of these. I do want to keep our deck relatively thin so we get to control chaos faster. Okay, so um, let's see when Apotheosis is coming up in two cards and the Corruption is sort of on the bottom, unfortunately. Let's do Finesse first, then Warcry. Actually, that'll give us Apotheosis, right? Yeah. Okay. Put the um, Defend back, then Apotheosis, Rage, Infernal Blade, and um, yeah, we can just do Bash and Iron Wave. Okay. When is the feed coming up? And two hands, so maybe we can hold uh, or keep the sentry alive so we can kill it with the feet. Actually, can we draw it this turn? Not really, no. Alright, so then I think we'll just try to defend this turn. Um, let me get rid of one of the defense. You know, I just said uh, we're going to try to defend. Rip, uh, Cleave is actually going to kill the front line, alright? So we don't want to do that. Let's just target 19, 18, yeah, let's just do this. Okay. Right. 20 incoming. We can kill you. That's good. Is there anything else? The corruption is still coming up in a bit. But let's do feed. Combo strike. And then just... Uh, ooh, uh, we, I should have defended a little bit. That was my mistake. I should have played the armaments there. Using a little bit of HP here. Alright, there's corruption. Rage, battle trance. Okay, once we play our corruption, we should be pretty much fine. Up for blood. Pummel. Okay. All right. Uh, offering is going to be great, right? Uppercut, Iron Wave, Fire Breathing. I think Offering is going to be the best card in this situation. All right. And then to get two elites, uh, actually, I guess not two elites. To get two extra question marks, we go on the left, right? On the right side. Well, I guess on the right side, we have one question mark and one shop. But I think we'll go on the left. Yeah, two question marks, I think, a little more important. All right. Book of Stabbing. This one's going to be rough. And Corruption is not coming up anytime soon. What's coming up after this? We do have Burning Pack, but this is after we play Battle Trance. We do have Rage in this hand, um, so we could get some defense out of that. Let's definitely do Apotheosis. Okay, Battle Trance. Alright, uh, there's a Ghostly Armor. That'll give us full defense. Okay, hang on, we just need to defend by... Actually, yeah, two strikes would be enough defense here. Okay. Next turn, we do have the Flame Barrier. And we still have a weakness potion that I probably should use sooner or later. Okay, so flame barrier is 16. And then, yeah, we're fully defended this way. Let's do strike and feed. Okay. All right. Only one incoming. There's an offering, and there's a corruption right after that. Let's do that. Offering. Then corruption. Okay, play all of the skills. Warcry is going to give us a power through, which is going to help with the defense. Okay, I'll put a regular strike back. Okay, let's do trip, defend. Actually, I don't even think we need the power through. Yeah, we've already fully defended. Let's do bash, uh, pummel strike, uh, drop kick. Very nice. Uh, send him to gain block. Oh, this is going great. Yeah, once we have the corruption out, just uh, easy pickings. Ooh, bottle tornado. Speaking of corruptions, awesome. Now it's, uh, I should say, starch combo with, with, with a upgraded corruption in your hand. That's perfect. So, if I wasn't going for a Highland modifier, I would take another one. Actually, no, no, no. Right now, it's in Bottle Tornado, so there's no reason to. Now, Spot Weakness is a really nice card. Actually, yeah, now that we have Corruption, we should probably take every single skill that we get offered. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm still sticking on the left side here. Okay. Ah, this is so nice. A corruption or Opening Hand. Very, very good. All right, so let's do Corruption. Um... Yeah, I guess we can uh, draw some cards. Let's do Armaments, Warcry. Uh, put this guy back. I'm probably going to burn a strike. Okay. 
All right, spot weakness. Um, finesse. We do have a lot incoming here. Can we defend? Oh, I guess that's the best we can do. Okay. I could have thrown a weakness potion. I don't think it's super necessary. All right, there's apotheosis. Upgrade everything. Probably just whirlwind, right? 15. Yeah, that should be... Actually, no. Let's wait for the feed here. It's coming up very soon. Yeah, once we play the offering, it should be there. We'll take some damage here. Um, yeah, just one HP damage. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, Battle Trance is going to draw us the feed, right? Is that going to be enough to kill, though? Yes. Awesome. Got some max HP out of this. Uh, probably don't need the Strength Potion. And here, we do have the Paper Frog, so Thunderclap wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, yeah, let's take it. Okay, so here we have to rest, unfortunately. Can't do anything else. But we do have a card offered. Uh, Rupture is only going to be useful once we have the Regret. And pretty useless beyond that. I don't think I'll take it. I don't think I'll take any of these. Body Slam is not super important, and we already have the other two. Rupture could have been an option, but I think we just needed one turn, and that's not worth it for that. Here we got two strikes upgraded. Here we rest back to full HP. Um, we don't have any... Well, I guess we have the... Um, what do you call it? The spot weakness, so maybe Sword Boomerang? I think I'll go with Dual Wield, actually, since we have the Corruption out. It uh, would basically give us any duplicate. Um, here we'll probably go with the uh, Mutagenic Strength. Uh, so Sarge come with the 3 Strength. At the end of your first turn, lose 3 Strength again. Okay. And then here we have another shop. I think we can afford everything, right? Yeah, so Ice Cream Energy is not conserved between turns. Pair up and pick up, raise your max HP by 10. And a Toy Ornithopter, whenever you use a potion, heal 5 HP. Okay. In terms of cards, I'll definitely take Shrug it off. Already have Ghostly Armor, Combust is pretty useless. And do we have an Iron Wave? I thought... Oh yeah, we didn't pick one up. Alright, I'll take an Iron Wave then. We have the potions. Ooh, uh, let's remove one of the basic... Uh, probably strikes now. Yeah, we can play all the defense that we want. Um, do I want a Power Potion? That might help against the upcoming uh, boss. So let me drop the attack potion and let's take a power potion instead. Okay. All right, here we got Sneko. Okay, let's get Corruption Apotheosis out. All right. Okay. All right, we are confused, but all, all of our skills still cost zero, so that's good. Look at that. All of the skills in the same hand. That's awesome. All right, Warcry, uh, we probably want to put Defend back, then Battle Trance to draw it again, okay? And then we can do Thunderclap, and... Ooh, uh, let's actually wait for the feed. When is that coming up? Uh, at least three turns, or, well, at least... Well, no, I think it's in three turns. Um, I think we should wait then. Yeah, yeah, let's wait, let's wait to use it. Actually, yeah, here, yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of the, um, let's get rid of all these cards. No, oh right, I forgot we couldn't, we weren't able to draw anything. Uh, I'm not, you know what, should I play Iron Wave? No, we're fully defended, we'll just wait. Okay. 15 incoming, um, and yeah, the, uh, feed is, uh, taking a little bit longer. We could dual wield an Infernal Blade here, that would be pretty neat, but, um, no, I'll play the defend here. Okay. Right, another eight. Uh, so we could just do offering to get the feed early. Yeah, let's do it. Well, you know what? Let's just do flame barrier. And um, I'll just prep the feed to make sure it is enough to kill. Okay. Yeah, no lose to lo no reason to lose six HP here if we don't have to and can still feed. Okay. All right. So um, we already have all of them. Actually, I forget. Did I ever pick up a havoc? I don't think I did. All right, let's pick up Havoc. Okay, second to lead this form. Let's see, hopefully we can use the um, feed on one of them. Uh, let's do Corruption. What is coming up? Thunderclap, Infernal Blade. Orshi Apotheosis is a little further down. So Warcry will draw something and then put something back again. Not super useful. Actually, no, let's Armaments everything first. Then Warcry, that draws us an extra card. Okay. Then we'll do Rage, Battle Trance. Alright. Okay, there's the Apotheosis. Very nice. Infernal Blade gives us Fiend Fire. Very nice. Um, let's do Thunderclap. Okay, so Fiend Fire, one damage, one energy Fiend Fire would kill. So let's do one defend. 
and then just kill one of you, right? We are fully defended that way. Very good. Okay. All right. When is the feed up coming? Uh, actually, we can get it with the offering and burning pack. I think we'll do that. Is there an exhume by any chance? Yeah. Well, it, there is one. Maybe I should use it. It might. It might not be possible actually, because we'll uh, exhaust enough cards to kill everybody. Um, like so. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. We still got four max HP. We also got tiny chests. I've pick up, gained thirty gold. You are ten percent more likely to find treasure, or yeah, treasure in question mark rooms. Reaper wouldn't be a bad idea, just because it does exhaust and heals us back a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll take it. Sure. We also have enough energy at this point. All right, resting for no reason. I guess we do uh, get a card draw. Actually, with corruption, we should have enough. Um, well, we should be able to play all the skills so that we can play clash. Let's do that. Why not? Headbutt would be the other option to um, get a feedback if we don't play it, but I think that's better. All right, let me briefly see Apotheosis in the next hand, so that's good. Let's do Corruption, and then Armaments. Um, I'll dual wield probably, yeah, Strike is stronger. Okay. Maybe I should drink the Power Potion. Yeah, you know what? Let's see, what do we get? Brutality is not a bad idea. Dark Embrace is going to be great. Let's do that. It's going to be way more important for us. I should have upgraded that. That was a mistake. We played the Apotheosis first. Right, let me see what's coming up next. There's a strike next. Let's... Uh, never mind. We drew that strike. Okay. There's a regret next. Let's have it, that. Awesome. All right. Um, Warcry. I want to draw as much as possible before I play the Battle Trends. Unfortunately, we won't be able to feed. Um, so let me put it back. Finesse again. Um, well, there's spot weakness. Okay. All right. Burning Pact. Probably the strikeout. Okay. All right. So um, let's do... Let's see. Our hand is getting a little full. Let's get rid of one of these. So cleave. Okay. Then Infernal Blade gives us Sever Soul, which will exhaust a bunch. Uh, let's do that at the end. Let's do Flame Barrier... Um, bash. Okay. Ghostly armor. And thunderclap will make him vulnerable. Yeah, let's do thunderclap. Okay. Then offering. All right. Then yeah, let's just get rid of all of these cards. Okay. There's limit break, which is amazing actually, because we had four strength. Um, what is havoc gonna play? Seeing red and then burning pack. Okay. There's another limit break coming up very soon. Okay. All right, um, we need to get rid of cards here. Let me just do a... Oh, should I just do a Sever Soul? You know what? Let's do it. Oh, no, no, let's not do a Sever Soul yet. This has 61 damage. It perfect the strike. Very nice. Uh, actually, let me get the uh, strength first. Okay, yep. There's spot weakness again and limit break. Okay. Now this does 89 damage. That's better. Um, this would do also quite a bit of damage. Yeah, let's do 89 first. Now, this will do 63. Wow, okay, never mind. First turn kill. All right, and we got max HP out of it. All right, another weakness potion and um, barricade. Definitely barricade. Barricade is a type of card that will potentially allow us to perfect um, a fight. So, yeah, I'll take it. Also, I should point out that the only reason we won that fight is because we uh, had that uh, power potion. All right, um, as much as we don't need to rest at rest sites, I don't think I need extra energy. Although, I guess on one hand, extra energy is always nice. Um, the other option is White Beast Statue, but I don't think we need that that much. Yeah, sure. I mean, why not? Let's have more energy. And hope that we don't lose too much HP. This is a little risky, though. I guess we have Tori Ornithopter, so we, we could heal that way. And we have the uh, Burning Blood, and we have a Reaper. Yeah, fine. I'll go with Coffee Dripper. So, again, energy start of your turn. You can no longer rest as our sites. Oh, actually, I guess maybe I shouldn't have done that because that is in conflict with the Dreamcatcher, but... I don't think we're going to pick up too many extra cards. All right, so um, again, only two elite paths here, right? Yeah, I don't see a three elite path. That's unfortunate. We do want to hit the shop. Well, we don't want to hit any shop at the end. So, all right, let's see. We can either, If we go in the far left, we well either have to have two question marks or a shop. Maybe we'll go to a shop early then. Um, so if we go on the right, we can have two question marks. Uh, no, that won't give us two elites. Ugh, tough. 
Actually, hang on. If we go this path, we have two question marks in a shop after the two elites. And then before that, we can do one question mark in a shop. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we'll do that. That we have three question marks and two shops total. Whereas if we go on the far left, we would get one, two, four question marks and no shops. Yeah, fine. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll get to five questions though that way. All right, so corruption. Let's see, Havoc is going to play either defend or a spot weakness. Um, no, actually, either defend or an infernal blade. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Battle trans, rage, infernal blade, defend, and then uh, let's do clash and fiend fire. Sure. Uh, the feed is coming up very soon, although we won't be able to draw next turn. Okay, 13 incoming. I'm totally okay taking 13 damage if we get a feed out of it too. Um, let's do spawn weakness and um, defend. Okay, I might. We are fully defended. Okay, and then upgraded feed, please. Perfect. All right. Um, Infernal blade, perfected strike, fire breathing, or war cry. Sometimes we do play a lot of uh, attacks for fire breathing, but at most it's going to be like three or four. So I don't think I'll take any of them. Okay. Uh, here I will look for uh, colorless cards. Impatience wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, Dark Shackles would be great for defensive purposes. Same, Actually, Jack of All Traits might give us something nice too. Discovery would be nice. Flash of Steel would be great. Um, I think I'll go with Flash of Steel just because it'll allow us to draw a card. Here, I'm undecided. Who's our final boss here? We got the Time Eater, so... I see it might be nice. But no, no, I think we'll go with Impatience. I think we really want to focus on card draw. And here, I think I'll take Dark Shackles for defense. Okay. Alright, we don't have that much gold, but we definitely need to go sh with Shovel, right? Yeah. So you can now dig for relics at rest sites. That will uh, allow us to actually do something at rest sites because right now we don't have anything to do. We could take Hand of Greed. Yeah, that might work. <coughs> it's some good offensive options. It's, um, unfortunately, we can't afford Deep Breath as well. But do we want to play Deep Breath? Actually, we might want to. Um, yeah, and very likely... Actually, wait, did we have another shop? We do have another shop. All right, we'll go with Hand of Greed then. I would have loved to take another uh, True Grit, though, but we can't afford that. Okay. All right, let's see. So, uh, Corruption, Apotheosis. All right. Spot Weakness, Finesse. Yeah, this is really a problem. We just... We have a good set of cards. We just need card draw. That's, that's really the problem we have right now. Okay. Everybody's attacking. All right, let's see. Infernal Blade gives us cleave. Very nice. War Crime. Um, let's put this guy back, although we're going to draw it with we'll Shrug It Off again anyway. Um, hang on, let me do cleave. Shrug It Off. Ghostly Armor, Defend, and Dark Shackles. Okay. Yeah, he, they're, they're pretty much all dead. Oh, actually... Well, I guess we have Hand of Greed upcoming. I would love to use um, a feed there. Didn't, didn't think of that. Um, yep. Wait, did that not work? We did not get gold out of it, right? Yeah, it wasn't the last one. The only other option was to... Well, I don't think we had a way to do that. Anyway, we don't take another fire uh, potion, and we already have a Havoc, and I don't think I'll take anything else here. I would have loved to take a Dark Embrace, actually. So here we have to go on the left to hit two elites, right? And then we'll go this path. I guess if we decide to go instead of right, go left, we'll get an extra question mark instead of a shop. But I think a shop is... Well, do I want a shop? Yeah, let, let's get to this point and then we can think about it again. Ooh, we could get a curse out of this guy. Not sure if it's super useful, but why not? Alright, let's do corruption. Uh, offering, sure. Okay, apotheosis. There's the barricade. Flame barrier. Iron wave. Um, yep, perfect. We. Uh, well, I guess I'm not decided if we want a curse. We want a curse. Let me see what the options are. So if we go the path I had originally planned, there's only an option for two curses here at most. And we only have two. Well, I guess we could get two. That's not going to be enough. The other option is to not take this curse and then go on the left. Well, I guess then we don't even need to go on the left side. 
tough, tough. Uh, but no, I think we'll uh, try to avoid getting curses, yeah. Okay. Okay, third incoming. Uh, I don't think we can use a feed here, right? Let's try them. Knock it off. War crime. Uh, I will put a. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get it with the burning uh, pack anyway. Okay, rage strike. Strike burning pact. Okay, let's do battle trance. Uh, we could dual wield feed, but that's still not gonna kill, right? Havoc is gonna play a defend. Okay. And then we can do Thunderclap. Hmm, do we have a headbutt or something upcoming? Not really, not even Exhume, right? Okay. So then I'll just get... Um, yeah, let's just do with the feed and play two of them just for damage. Okay. No, I guess I didn't think of the fact that he might have... Uh, he could have given us a curse, but... Alright, this has 32, that's not enough. Let's uh, weaken him a little bit more. Okay, so that's yeah, enough to kill now. Alright, so, Blood for Blood and Plane. I think here we'll go with True Grid. That allows us to do this uh, exhaust cards too. Alright, we have Nemesis here. 18 incoming right off the bat. Colonel Blade gives us Body Slam. Um, Alright, let's do... Let's do Burning Pack the Warcry. Without an upgrade, it's not very useful. Um, so defend, rage, body slam, and patience. Okay, there's apotheosis and barricade. Um, yeah, we have to throw the weakness potion if we want to perfect this one. That's close. Okay, we're not getting attacked. Definitely want to stack up on as much defense as possible. Okay. Defend, flash of steel. Yeah, let's just really gear up on the defense. Um, I'll get rid of you, and then a Reaper for 1 HP. Well, I guess we're already at full HP anyway. Okay. Yeah, now we're fully defended. Even if he does a big attack, a big attack, and he does. Okay. Rip, Havoc. Alright, defend, defend. Flash, and have a three. Yeah, Barricade is, I think, we're very important here. Let's do spot weakness. Let me see if we have e either an exhum or a um, whatever the other card is that we want. But no, nothing coming up anytime soon. So feed is unfortunately not going to be able to be used here. Target off armaments, and then I think I'll just do bash and feed. Okay. No need to use offerings since we should be able to perfect this one, and I don't want to lose HP if I don't have to. Okay. Perfect. We have Blue Candle. Unplayable Curse cards can now be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose 1 HP and exhausted. Less about the fact that we have curses, more about the fact that we exhaust the card and uh, deal more damage. I think I'll take Headbutt. That might allow, allow us to put... No, no, no. Feel No Pain. Feel No Pain is going to give us a ridiculous amount of block. Almost took Headbutt, too. Okay, so Corruption. Um, let's get rid of the Strike card first. Then Impatience. Okay, shrug it off. And I use, uh, yep, that's exactly enough for a kill. And I don't have any zoom coming up. Uh, I do not, okay. Um, I don't think we need to do an offering here. But just actually, do I want to? No, I think we should be fine. Let's do Dark Shackles, okay. Alright, so, um, when is the Apotheosis coming up? Ooh, not very soon. Finesse. I probably should have done armaments first. Barricade, defend, defend, combo strike. Okay, and then defend and reaper. Alright. Okay. Um, here we can kill somebody with Hand of Greed. Let's do that. Alright, then Battle Trance. And then Colonel Blade gives us Whirlwind. Okay. I've got a Blood Potion, which we're probably not going to use. Um, and then of these, I don't think I'll take any of them again. None of them are useful. Maybe Evolve, but um, this enemy doesn't put status cards into our deck. Yeah, I think we'll skip. Okay, so question. Do we want to do three question marks and one Elite, or two question marks and a Shop and one Elite? Again, since I don't think we need to go for curses, I'm not sure if we need to go to question marks. And we only have 20 relics, and we're only going to get another... Wait, is that right? 5, 10, 15, 20... Yeah, 20 relics. 
We only get another two guaranteed, so that's 22. But I think we'll go for the shop. I think we'll get uh, at least an extra 25 points for having enough relics. Alright, so corruption, finesse, ghostly armor, bend, and then clash, and or iron wave, and then clash. Okay. Hmm. All right. This, this, almost strike. Um, Havoc is gonna play a strike. Okay. Um. Yeah, we can do whirlwind, even though it doesn't do that much damage, and then get rid of the regret curse. Okay. Thirteen incoming. Um. Yeah. Let's just play everything. No reason not to, right? Flame barrier, flash of steel first, then uh, battle trance. Lithiosis, very nice. Feel the pain. I should have dual wielded the feel the pain. That was my bad. Okay. Yeah. 13 incoming here. Um, I think this is a situation where we do want to pay, uh, play something like offering. Let's do that. Okay. Um, there's another armaments we don't really need. Might as well play it though, it's free. Let's burning pack the Reaper. That's another card we don't really need. Okay. That's very good, very nice. Trip, thunderclap, and then, um, yeah, I think then we'll get our attacks out. 31 damage, and yeah, I miscalculated. I wanted to play the hand of three, that didn't happen though. Do we need zoom? No, not anytime soon. There was one, but it was very late on. All right, spot weakness, rage, heavy blade for 65. I would love to do more. Both line. 77. I won't be able to play in his patience without it, though. Alright, I don't think we dealt more than 100 damage, but fine. We got Happy Flower with three turns, gain extra energy. There's a Speed Potion, which I don't think we need, and I'll take Metalysis here. Yeah. Okay, we got Ancient Tisa. When we enter Reset, so our next combo with two extra energy. Very nice. Alright, so Corruption here. We should be able to use the feed on somebody, right? Um, let's see, Havoc is going to play a strike, okay. Alright, that did attack the backliner, but we can just feed on the backliner, okay. I should have probably done Iron Wave first, I realize now. Um, okay, let's just kill you. Okay. Then what is the Hand of Weed coming up? Uh, not anytime soon, so I think we should try to finish this sooner rather than later. Let's do Trip, Burning Pact, Armaments... Okay, triggers the Dark Shackles, we don't need it this turn. And then a kill. Okay. Alright, we should be able to kill here. Okay. Alright, uh, we already have this one. I think now I'll take a headbutt. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go for the shop. Okay, so to get enough relics, we have, just make sure, 22, right? So we need to buy all the, oh, we can't afford all the... Relics, can we? So, uh, Mind Blast is not going to be up upgraded, so it's only going to deal like 37 damage, which is not bad. But I do want to go for the Relics because we there is a chance that some of these will give us one Relic too. So let's do um, Lease Waffle. we do Centennial Puzzle. Yeah, let's actually save some gold. Maybe one of the question marks is a shop. So Centennial Puzzle, the first time we lose HP each combat, draw three cards. And then I'll do Lease Waffle up and pick up Race to Max Champion by 70 heal all of your HP. Oh, it is tempting to do this arm. Actually, we can still afford the Mind Blast. Let's do it. No questions about that. Um, okay, I'll remove another basic defense or strike. And give me a relic. Oh, fine. Didn't give me a relic. What can I do? Alright, so we can do Corruption. Um, trip. We could dual wield the Mind Blast. Um, not 100% sure how useful that will be. Especially because we're going to only play one of them. And we're going to take a bunch of damage. Great. Um, yeah, I guess that's all we do. For a weakness potion. Not much we could have done about that. Alright, Feel No Pain, very useful. Havoc, I'll just play all of these. Alright, and then Bash. And uh, Iron Wave is risky because then he might actually... No, we don't have the Barricade out yet, right? Yeah, we don't. That's fine, then. Yeah, we definitely don't want the uh, Curse. Plug it off. Almost strike. Oh. Yeah, I didn't notice that he wasn't attacking us. 
Uh, let us get the uh, wait for the feed, which is coming up in a little bit. So let's barricade. Um, great. Now we're going to get the curse. No, I don't want that curse. Okay, another feel no pain. We already have one. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll pick any of these. Yeah, we uh, end up with 24 relics. That's unfortunately close, but not enough. That's a rage. Mind plus plus 87. Kill the strongest one. Okay. Hmm. Get it off again. Actually, instead of metallicized, let's just uh, do damage. Okay. Alright, uh, here, we could just headbutt the, uh, Mind Blast, let's do that. Headbutt a Mind Blast, get that with Flash of Steel, like that, and then, um, just wait. Ooh, wait, do I want to wait for a feed? It is coming up next turn, so let's not play anything here. Never mind. Wait, what killed? Okay, whatever. Uh, we got a Weakness Potion and, uh, probably Pummel here, just because it does exhaust. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. So, let's dig. Oh, never mind. Right. I totally forgot. We did get 25 relics. Perfect. Okay. Back up preparation and salvage combat. Draw two additional cards. Okay. Yeah, I totally forgot that we can dig our assets now. All right. So, um, let us uh, not use the um, weakness potion just yet. Let's do the corruption. We still need to defend against 26. Um, so, there's an offering coming up. Let's do burn. Oh, but then that'll make the uh, mind blast weaker. Actually, we have the offering. We should be fine. So, let's do mind blast. Then Burning Pact, uh, probably, well, uh, probably the Reaper, we don't need that. Okay. Splash of Steel, Offer, actually, yeah, Apotheos first. Offering is going to draw us a bunch of cards, thanks to something a puzzle too. Okay, and then with the Rage, we should be able to defend, right? With the Barricade, Shrug it off, we can play three more cards. Um, let's do Pummel. 21. He's going to attack us for um, 28, right? Let's throw the weakness potion, I guess. Okay, so we are fully defended. Um, I will get the mind blast back. Let's play that at the end, though. Let's do metallicize. And then headbutt the uh, mind blast. Okay. Alright. Uh, 18 incoming. I just. Oh, we can dual cast the mind blast, too. Won't be able to defend it, though. Dual wield the mind blast. One, two, three. No, we're fully defended still. Okay, good. Now, if we can deal 142 damage, we should be done. Otherwise, this will just drag on for a little longer. Uh, okay, so there's battle. There's battle trance. Um, yeah, I don't think we can deal enough damage. Uh, what is Havoc gonna play? Defend. Okay, let's do feel no pain. Havoc. Okay. And then, um, let's see, ghostly armor, bash, and then, yeah, this unfortunately does only 43 damage. Um, yeah, you know what, let's save some energy, no reason not to. It's gonna heal back up anyway, throw a fire push now. Okay, so let's do armaments, dark shackles, uh, infernal blade, thunderclap, and twin strike. Impatience. Oh, right, we have the uh, barricade, so we should be fully defended here, right? Whatever happens. Okay. Alright, yeah, we should be fine then. Uh, I don't think we can feed. Also, we won't get a extra score if we feed it too. But I I'll do... Oh, well, yeah, might as well for the damage. Okay, did we perfect? I think we perfected all bosses. Uh, not all elites, though, unfortunately. Uh, definitely not all elites. Okay. All right, yeah. Other other than the elites, I think this went pretty well. The bosses, I think we, we did well. Uh, we probably didn't get too many extra modifiers, so we did get Highlander. Um, oh, we got Speedster. Okay, less than an hour. We got Highlander. I like Shiny, just barely. Got Money Money, Librarian. Uh, yeah, we had more than 35 cards. Uh, we did get Combo, okay. Beyond Perfect, but we did not get the um, more than 100 damage thing. I guess we perfected four out of six elites. That's not bad at all. I think we missed only the two on the first four. And then, yeah, we got Bianca perfect. I mean, with the Ball Tornado Corruption combination, this is pretty much uh, a done deal. Although, we did get lucky. And I think it was a good decision not to pick up a lot of extra cards. Because that would have made us um, a little slower. So, yeah, right now we're 10th. It is early in the day. So, I suspect that some people will do better later on. 
But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this score. Thanks for watching. Bye.